The desert stretches out, a sea of sand and silence. But something disrupts the monotony, rows of airplanes, wings clipped, and bodies baking under the relentless sun. These are airplane graveyards, vast holding areas for retired aircrafts. It may seem unceremonious, but these boneyards serve a vital purpose. Airlines retire planes for a number of reasons. Age, technological advancements, and economic factors all play a role. Storing these giants isn't as simple as parking them in a field. Dry, desert air minimizes corrosion, preserving valuable components. The sheer scale of these sites is impressive. Some house thousands of aircraft, a testament to the constant evolution of aviation. But these grounded giants are far from forgotten. They are poised for a fascinating second act, one that often defies expectations. Retirement for an airplane doesn't always mean the end. Creative minds have transformed these metal birds into unexpected attractions. Restaurants housed within fuselages offer a unique dining experience. Retired planes find new life as quirky hotels, classrooms, and even private homes. Some are submerged in the ocean, creating artificial reefs teeming with marine life. But repurposing goes beyond novelty. Converting passenger planes into cargo carriers extends their operational life. This requires significant modification, stripping out passenger amenities, and reinforcing the fuselage for heavier loads. This transformation highlights the adaptability of aircraft design. It also reflects the demand for efficient cargo transport in our globalized world. While some planes enjoy a glamorous second life, others face the inevitable, dismantling and recycling. The process is surprisingly efficient. Up to 85 to 90% of an aircraft's materials can be recycled or reused. Aluminum, a key component in aircraft construction, is highly sought after. It can be melted down and reformed with minimal loss of quality. This makes it a sustainable and cost-effective material for various industries. Other valuable materials, like copper wiring and titanium alloys, are also carefully extracted. Even components like engines and landing gear can be refurbished and reused. This meticulous approach to recycling minimizes waste and reduces the environmental impact of aviation. It's a testament to the industry's commitment to sustainability and responsible resource management. For some aircraft, retirement takes on a more serious tone. Military forces and emergency services utilize decommissioned planes for training purposes. Firefighters practice extinguishing blazes on retired aircraft, honing their skills in a controlled environment. Special Forces units utilize the unique layout of planes for hostage rescue simulations. These exercises are invaluable for preparing first responders for real-world scenarios. Military forces also find strategic value in these aging giants. They serve as mock targets in bombing ranges allowing pilots to practice precision strikes. Others are converted into drones, providing valuable intelligence and surveillance capabilities. In this sense, these retired planes continue to serve a vital role in national security and preparedness. The sight of an airplane graveyard can be both melancholic and awe-inspiring. It's a reminder of the ephemeral nature of technology, the constant cycle of innovation and obsolescence but it also highlights the ingenuity and resourcefulness of humankind. We find ways to breathe new life into these giants, extending their usefulness long after their final flight. From quirky restaurants to artificial reefs, from training grounds to recycled materials, the afterlife of an airplane is often more captivating than its first act. These transformations offer a valuable lesson in sustainability. By maximizing the lifespan of resources, we reduce our environmental footprint and create a more circular economy. The stories of these retired airplanes remind us that even in obsolescence, there is beauty, purpose, and the potential for something new to take flight. 